So picture this. Chris Evans, uh -huh. you, and me right. walk into a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little ridiculous, right? Yeah. But why? Because, because we, we hate coffee. coffee! But you know what? Not everyone hates coffee. Most people love coffee. They do. We feel a little bit ostracized. Just a little. Mostly because people look at us feel like we're insane every time we say we don't like coffee. A little bit, a little bit. But guys, welcome to Coffee Haters Club, where we hate coffee, not coffee lovers. Yeah, we love you guys. We just don't understand your life choices. Totally love you. I'm Celeste. This is my mom, Sylvia. And one of our resident coffee lovers, who we need because we're just two idiots who hate coffee, is my sister, Celine. And here she is, lovely as ever. An official Starbucks barista. Hello. Yeah. She brings so, us gifts. What are these? Yes. So today, for you guys to try some coffee, I brought two Starbucks coffees. I went to the best coffee shop in the world, Walmart. Um, and I got you a unsweetened blonde roast because it is a black coffee, but not as strong as like a dark roast. Mm -hmm. So I thought that that'd be a good way to try some coffee. And then the second one I brought you is a Starbucks favorite, the caramel macchiato, which I just think is like a cup of sugar milk, but mm -hmm. lots of people love it. And I think you will be able to taste the coffee. So some unsweetened, some sweet for you today. Well. Here's hoping that it will be less disgusting than I think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So Celine, to start, we've got the blonde roast. It's in your cup. How coffee is this coffee? Like on a scale of, eh, could be more coffee to, no, that's coffee? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let us give it a try. <laughs> Come on, you gotta slurp it. Well, I was supposed to smell it first. Say it's a four. A four. four. So just so you guys know, this coffee is only four in coffee strength. So it's not like your dad's black coffee. So it's black because it doesn't have anything in it, but it definitely could be a little bit stronger. I think it tastes sweet. I don't know if you guys are going to taste the sweetness, but mm -hmm. it just tastes like a little bit light to me. Mm, it's good. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah, probably just, yeah, just, <laughs> just, just a little bit. Generous pull. Generous pull. She's a breeze. The second coffee is the caramel macchiato, and it's already sweetened, it already has all the milk and sugar in it, so mm. you give it a taste. Did you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> See, like, I taste the coffee, and it definitely has that, like, distinct Starbucks coffee taste, mm -hmm. like, in the way that they roast it. But to me, especially after having that, like, black coffee and then that, it just tastes like a cup of sugar milk. So, so I'd say, eh, could be more coffee. Okay, but, yeah. so now all of you people who know what you're talking about and aren't coffee idiots, like my mom and I, yes. know that this is baby coffee and we're still gonna hate it. Both of those, these coffees are on the lower end, yes. sounds like. Yeah, I wanted you guys to start on the lower end before I make you some bold coffee. And we appreciate that. Yes, yes. As you can see, Celine's cup was ginormous because she is a coffee lover. However, Celeste and I have intentionally tiny cups. These are our patented two sip cups, yes. known to most coffee people as espresso cups. Mm -hmm. But for us, they're coffee hater cups. Yes. And so we are gonna take two sips. The first sip <laughs> is so that we can have our natural, um, absolutely disgusted um, shock of it um, out of the way. Right. And then we will take a second sip um, to give it an honest, fair evaluation. Yeah, because we hate coffee not being open-minded. Just, this is, we can't do more than this. This is it for us. All right, coffee haters, let's do this thing. Except that I forgot to pour it in there, so. That's okay, you gotta let's wait. do this. I can't do this thing quite yet. Now, remember that you're gonna need to try to get it on your tongue and not just down it like a shot. But let's smell it first. What aromas are you smelling? It's coffee, like burnt wood. Sounds like wood, coffee. Coffee, mm -hmm. cool. And now you're gonna need to slurp your first sip. Clink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was your first sip of the Starbucks Blonde Roast. As I would already told you as a coffee drinker, it's a little bit lighter, but I don't think that was a very light reaction. <laughs> so now our second sip, which for some of us may be a recycled sip. <laughs> Who knows? Let's go. Clink, clink. Down it, Celeste. Down you gotta it. drink it, buddy. 
Good job. Wow. I think we have to discuss this. Tell us <laughs> what you tasted. Um, how'd it go? How was that for you? So, I know we're on camera and that sometimes YouTube people be crazy, but I'm not overreacting. <laughs> I put it in my mouth expecting a four. <laughs> And I got a 75. <laughs> it tasted like I stuck a marker down my throat and that it should not have been in my mouth. Like, I digress. But every right time out. I breathe, I taste it. Did you guys are going to freak out when I give you some like really <laughs> strong coffee? I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Mom, how did you think that went? Um, so I did not enjoy it, as you may have noted on my face. Or sip one or sip two. Uh, I, I was able to put it in my body though and not back in my cup, but um, I would never drink it again. No, no, I, d I don't ever want this again. Okay, so now for the second coffee. Okay, so we're gonna just... Dude, she's spitting that one! <laughs> <laughs> you I'm not gonna drink anymore, you're done drinking. I would have <laughs> drink it but not her spit one! <laughs> okay, so now for the caramel macchiato, which... I think will be less strong. I think you guys might like this one more. I I believe this will be a better experience because she rated it very low on the coffee. How coffee is coffee? Yeah, it could be more coffee. But let's let's make goals this time. Um, let's keep it in our bodies. <laughs> okay, so why don't you guys smell it first? Tell me what you can smell. Ooh, smells like brown sugar. Yeah, see, it's very I smell sugary. the caramel. I yeah. smell the caramel. Now you guys, your first sip. Let's go. Clink. So, how are you guys rating this? Your first rating on your scale is no, no, please no, 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 please, never again. Would not wish this on my worst enemy. No, thank you. Right, that's the okay. first scale. Okay. The first, and then the, the other one is, let me go for a third sip. Talking backwards. Where would you have put the blonde roast before we talk about the caramel macchiato? No, 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 no. <laughs> never again, please. No, wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. So now with the caramel macchiato, Spouse, did you drink all of yours, or do you have a second sip? I have a second sip. Okay, so let's do a second sip before you tell me about second it. Second clean. clean. Okay. So you guys actually finished those. <laughs> so tell me where it goes on your scale. Hmm. I let it coat my tongue. Just okay. like you said I should. Yeah? It's everywhere. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was less bad. I definitely, I mean, for people who don't know anything about coffee, which is not many people, for people like us who don't know anything, this is doable. Would I ever drink a full cup of it unless I was being held against my will? <laughs> no, because it still tastes like coffee and, and, and we hate coffee. But this tasted like it shouldn't be in my mouth. So, oh my gosh. this is a one. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So for me, yeah. um, curious what you think. I would not voluntarily drink it. Um, however, if um, somebody offered it to me, I'd politely decline. But <laughs> if someone had already poured it for me and gone out and bought it specially for me and I would be able to pretend to like it a little. I think maybe it's like a coffee candy. Very sweet. Um, and people who like coffee may think of it like a coffee candy. But for me, um, I would not want to have it. Yeah, if someone got this for me and they put in a lot of effort, I would fake an illness. <laughs> or jump off of a building. Wow, okay. So Try and feed me coffee when I'm dead. Two very different coffees for today. Mm -hmm. um, for those coffee lights out there, you might be like, those are light, you need to give them like a pour over or an espresso shot or something like that. And that's to come. But it's to come. this week, I think it was a success. I see this as an absolute win. <laughs> I'm concerned about the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us for this first inaugural episode of Coffee Haters Club. And a special thank you to our very first, number one, most amazing, Honorary Coffee Haters Club member, Chris Evans. He has supported us this whole time. You know who you are, Chris Evans. And we would appreciate if you would leave your coffee suggestions in the comment section, because again, we want to know what the good stuff is. We are happy to try it. So tell us your favorites and we'll go out and get it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 
Yes. You can join us and Chris Evans in Coffee Haters Club if you hate coffee or if you just love us. Make sure you join us next time for another episode of Coffee Haters Club where we will build a tiny statue of Mr. Evans made entirely out of coffee beans. See ya. <laughs> I like how that was so well timed. <laughs>